My name is Elizabeth Willett, Senior Fertility Herbalist with the Natural Fertility Company. We are um, the naturalfertilityshop.com and naturalfertilityinfo.com. Um, I come on here weekly, as many of you know, some of you who are new wouldn't, but uh, to talk about fertility health related topics um, and answer questions and all sorts of things. So welcome. Today we're going to talk, talk about top male fertility nutrients. And I thought it would be really helpful to know about some nutrients because I've kind of been on this antioxidant um, stint, if that's the right word. I've been talking a lot about antioxidants lately um, and how important they are for egg health and sperm health. And so I'm going to go a little bit farther today into nutrients for male fertility. So this is particularly for men who are experiencing male factor infertility, but these are also things that um, anyone can do. Any man can take um, if he has male factor fertility or not. He just wants to try to be as healthy as possible to pass on the healthiest DNA that he can to his future child. These are things he could consider too. Um, I should share that we do consider uh, or we do suggest getting a lot of nutrients and as many nutrients as you can from a fertility diet, whether you're male or female first, and then supplementing as um, insurance, so to speak, for your diet. So I want to throw that out there because diet is key. But essentially the reason that the things that I'm going to talk about, the nutrients that I'm going to talk about in this periscope um, are important for protecting DNA, protecting your cells, helping keep them safe from all of those toxins and xenohormones that we're exposed to every day and um, you know boosting their health so you want to protect and encourage healthy dna for men just as you do women um, foods that contain dna protecting antioxidants and nutrients can help reverse the damage that has been done to the dna um, from things like pesticide exposure chemical exposure um, smoking over consuming alcohol, things like that. All those things we know to be harmful for, to our bodies. Uh, it might surprise you that studies have shown that 85% of sperm produced by a healthy male are DNA damaged. Isn't that a really interesting fact and kind of a scary one? But then on the flip side, I was thinking perhaps that's why um, semen samples are so sperm rich. Their sperm count is in a healthy man is usually really high, multiple millions of sperm. So. Maybe that's why, maybe the body's just magical in that way and is doing that because sperm are so easily damaged by all of those harmful things I just mentioned. I'm not sure, just sort of speculating as I was creating this talk. But we also wanna um, promote sperm health uh, uh, by preventing damage to them because um, healthy sperm plus healthy egg hopefully means healthy pregnancy and healthy baby, healthy conception, healthy pregnancy, healthy baby, right? I mean, it's a 50-50, it's 50-50. 50% of what your child gets is, comes from the father and 50% comes from the mother. Um, so we want to make sure that our that sperm health is as good as it can be, right? As optimal. Um, but also to encourage healthy libido. Some of these nutrients are important for healthy libido. You know, a diet rich in fats, high, poor fats, unhealthy fats, and that and or that is um, low in nutrients really can impact a man's libido and that can make trying to conceive really hard and stressful and that's a piece of this component as well i know that's not directly related to related to sperm health but it's um, important to um, fill your day with lots of nutrients so that you can not only support sperm health but promote hormonal balance for men but also libido too so that trying to conceive doesn't become a chore we don't want it to become a chore, even though I know for a lot of you it, it does at times, especially if you've been battling infertility for a really long time. But doing things and making sure that you both, you and your partner or husband, are um, you know, giving yourselves lots of nutrients and, and exercising regularly will hopefully help you maintain a healthy libido. Um, and there are other things uh, that you could try too. We, that's a different topic. But this is part of it too. Um, we just don't want this to be stressful. I know that's sort of sometimes seemingly not possible, but it's part of it too. So the nutrients, the male fertility nutrients to consider having your partner or husband take um, or include in his diet that are important for male fertility are, um, the first one is zinc. Um, zinc deficiencies can actually reduce testosterone levels and testosterone is important for healthy sperm production and of course hormonal balance. Um, Zinc foods actually are lots of animal foods. If your partner or husband eats 
animal foods. It's really best to choose organic, grass-fed, free-range, um, you know, local. If you know a local farmer who raises things in an organic, very healthy way, you could ask them if you can purchase from them. But there are lots of things like uh, beef tenderloin, lamb, oysters, shrimp, venison. There are also non-meat versions, sesame seeds, raw pumpkin seeds, green peas. So um, including a variety of these zinc-containing foods in your diet is important. Zinc can be damaged by heat, though. So while you may get a little bit of zinc from a meat, um, most people don't eat it raw. We don't actually advocate for that uh, in most cases. Um, so you want to be sure that you're eating at least 50% of um, zinc-containing foods in the raw form. So those plant-based foods, of course. The other one is folic acid. Women, um, ladies, you know about folic acid for your fertility, but um, most importantly for the neural tube development of a fetus in utero. It's very important for that, um, for lots of things for the baby. But um, men with low levels of folate or folic acid uh, are, have been found to have increased risks for sperm that contain too little or too many chromosomes. So they're chromosomally wrong. Um, if an egg is fertilized by one of these sperm that has too few or too many chromosomes, it can lead to um, development issues and birth defects like Down syndrome. Um, it can increase chances of miscarriage. Some of you may have heard the term or be familiar with trisomy, um, having extra chromosomes that end up um, sometimes resulting in miscarriage. But um, folic acid is very important for sperm health too. Folic acid is found in lentils, beans, pinto beans, garbanzo beans, asparagus, spinach, um, black beans, navy beans, <laughs> all the beans, <laughs> uh, kidney beans, um, what else? Greens, collard greens, things like that. Um, one serving of any, most of these foods will actually give you almost all of your daily need for folate. Um, you can, most multivitamins, particularly for women, do contain folate, but a, a healthy or good quality, excuse me, uh, men's multivitamin should have folate in it or folic acid in it too. Uh, the other nutrient is B12, vitamin B12. Um, it's actually been shown to increase sperm count. Um, many people are deficient in B12, uh, meat eaters and vegetarians alike. So um, we need to be supplementing B12, particularly if you're vegetarian, because B12 is found in a lot of dairy and animal foods. Um, it's also important to make sure that your digestion is healthy uh, because the body's ability to absorb a lot of vitamins, most of them, B12 included, relies on healthy digestion. Um, so if you're eating a diet high in fat, uh, bad fats, high in processed foods, um, if you have a digestive health issue for you know whatever reason, it's going to be important to work on that too so that you're, you're properly absorbing the nutrients that you get from your food and your supplements. Um, most of the time, B12 is something to consider supplementing. Um, we prefer B vitamins in a B-complex formula, um, but if you have any questions you want to talk to your pharmacist or doctor or nutritionist about um, what would be best for your needs or even if, to help you find out if you have a deficiency, um, particularly if you're healthy, uh, and this is for men, if you're a healthy male and, all, and you still have a sperm count or health issue, be something to ask your doctor about. Um, another nutrient that's, nutrient that's really important for male fertility is vitamin C. Uh, vitamin C protects sperm from oxidative damage, it boosts immune system function. Um, it is sensitive to cooking, so we need to get vitamin C in raw foods. And I'm sorry, commercially processed orange juice is not an adequate source of vitamin C. Um, it's commonly believed that if we drink orange juice that comes in a carton from the store that we're getting a lot of vitamin C. It's actually not that much. Uh, the pasteurization process damages vitamin C. So if you're going to drink orange juice, fresh squeeze it daily if you can, or go to a juice bar where they're fresh squeezing it daily. Juice bars are um, almost everywhere now. I know probably not in some small towns, but even my town has a, a gluten-free zone raw juice bar. Um, so anyway, other foods that contain vitamin C are, are abound, really. Um, citrus fruits, bell peppers, uh, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, strawberries, oranges, kiwi fruit, cauliflower, papaya, kale, all things you want to be including in your regular fertility diet, whether you're male or female. 
Um, something more specific to men is L-carnitine. It's a necessary nutrient for sperm cells to function properly. Um, L-carnitine is um, available in lots of foods, nuts, seeds, most vegetables, but like things like artichoke, asparagus, beet greens, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, collard greens, garlic, mustard greens, okra, parsley. So think, think greens for L-carnitine. Um, but it is something also that men may need to supplement. Um, supplementing with L-carnitine is known to help normalize sperm motility for men with sperm low quality. Um, all these different words used in relation to sperm health. All right, the last one that I have uh, that's very important to think about is CoQ10. So if you're a male experiencing uh, male factor infertility or sperm health or quality issues and you haven't heard of CoQ10, I would consider learning more about CoQ10. Uh, it's an antioxidant that protects sperm from damage uh, from all those things I mentioned at the beginning of this talk. Um, it's been to in shown to increase sperm motility and we know that CoQ10 is um, naturally produced by the body, but it's, it's decreases, that production decreases as we age, all of us, men and women. So um, you can get CoQ10 from food, beef, herring, uh, rainbow trout, salmon, organ meats, which I know a lot of people don't eat, but some may. Um, seeds and nuts like peanuts and pistachios and sesame seeds, raw broccoli if you can eat it and um, some citrus, orange, strawberry, um, whole grains maybe, Heck, but the whole grains should contain the germ. Um, so the germ on the grain, it shouldn't be a processed grain. All of those things are rich in CoQ10. Um, CoQ10, L-carnitine, um, multivitamins, they're all things that are very regularly available in lots of health food stores and um, pharmacies. We have them at the naturalfertilityshop.com, um, so they're easy to find. But like I said at the beginning, make sure that you're focusing on eating a varied diet, a very balanced diet with complex carbohydrates, whole grains that contain the germ, and um, you know lean sources of healthy protein, and, of whether they're animal or <laughs> plant, so that wouldn't be lean. Um, and then eating a lot of... Um, Fruits and vegetables, lots and lots and lots of fruits and vegetables and healthy fats. It's all very important for um, male fertility health, hormonal balance, sperm health, as well as female fertility health. So jump on the fertility diet bandwagon together with your partner and your husband. Um, start making those changes together and hopefully um, if he needs that boost, um, it will benefit him as well. Well, we are available for questions on the phone, um, live chat and via email if you have a pretty in-depth question where you want to share lots of details about your fertility health journey or your fertility health um, specific to you of course the naturalfertilityshop.com and naturalfertilityinfo.com have contact us forms um, in the top right hand corner we've got a little question mark in the bottom right hand corner uh, we are available for questions if they come up as you um, replay this video or I have them in the future. We're happy to help as best as we can. So thanks for joining everyone and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. We'll see you next week. Bye.